be sharing to our audience some strategies and initiatives to prepare us for the future that is limitless. You know, when the, with the changing nature of work brought by a lot of realizations in times of crisis, the focus of employee engagement and experience has also changed. The focus has moved from sense of belonging to a sense of well-being, where there is tremendous amount of focus on the sense of well-being, whether it is physical, social, mental, or financial. There is so much integration happening, and hence the focus should be on how do we bring about the work-life synergy so that we all could become more productive, can deliver more, and become more effective in what we do. We earlier operated in an all-touch environment. We all have to be physically present, um, but it's now all moving to uh, technology, whether it is meetings, learning, um, celebrating, connecting, collaborating, everything is moving to the technology. Work at home in a bigger scale is something untested in the Philippines in the past, but there is now a bigger appetite in continuing with this for as long as we have the right infrastructure in place. There are challenges in employee engagement and employee experience with the new ways of working. Um, one of the huge gaps that we need to fill in is the missing human in-person experience. The reduced social connection with other employees is changing the employee experience. In fact, employee expectations have you know, increased for validation, recognition, and feedback in the new normal, especially because all these three activities are being carried virtually and hence posing a new set of challenges for employers. Thus, in as early as 2021, we thought it is imperative for us to prepare for the new normal while we continue to support our staff. Aligned to Concentrix vision, we strengthened our focus on DEI. Knowing that leaders drive our culture, we started with leadership immersion through different forums, and webinars with uh, a lot of focus on PWD, sexual orientation, and cross-cultural awareness. We also created three big communities for women, LGBTQ, and PWDs with more than 10, sorry, 2,000 members that aim to empower these groups and give them a voice to share their feelings and their needs. We also created our impact hiring to get more PWDs join our organization. More than ever, we all realized that health and well being of our staff is a priority, something we have to embrace and continue to give importance even post pandemic times. Concentrix is the first in the PPO industry to purchase the COVID vaccines and roll this out to our staff and dependents. Um, but we didn't stop there. We went beyond our limits. We rolled out our home care programs, brought uh, oxygen tanks, uh, oxygen concentrators, and even sent out care kits to our, our staff who were affected. We also partnered with another vendor to provide our staff the mental well-being support and trained uh, about 3,500 managers to manage employee concerns and spot mental health issues. To ensure that all our staff are well connected, we launched our leadership summit called You on the Rise, with close to 9,000 attendants from across all our sites. This was also followed by the biggest virtual event called Family Day live streamed through social media with over 100,000 live views, which then became over 200,000 after 36 hours. We also realized that uh, employee experience is best operationalized by our processes and systems that are relevant and more aligned to our situation. 
um, work at home is seen as a big opportunity for us long term and to support the transformation, we have launched our HR shared service center, along with several digital platforms to support moments that matter to our staff. We uh, also take pride in our staff who pledge over 1.5 million pesos to support their colleagues in times of need and contributed to planting over uh, what 5,000 trees and 10,000 carbon footprint reduction per month. The future is limitless in terms of what we can do to support our clients and employees. And with the right business focus centered on people through staff experience, well-being, culture, and sustainability, we are better prepared for the future. It starts with leaders and human resources. The way we design our programs, uh, enable technologies, uh, and interactions that create meaning and emotional connection. And in the process, affecting change in not just the lives of our staff, but the community and the world. It's the way we will create an impact. So I hope that I was able to share ideas that can help our HR leaders and practitioners in enabling business transformation and helping to propel their organization to the future. Thank you once again, Richard and Rebecca, and more power to Asia CEO Forum.